Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another ratio setup for 1320 challenge for a head to head car. Today's car is the found on road dead SVT Cobra, aka the Ford SVT Cobra. So this, this is one of those vehicles that you supercharge it. So follow that instruction list on the discord. If you want a full HP, uh, Mustang. And then if you want my ratios, which that's kind of the point of the video, 3.419, 2.095, 1.579, 1.209. I'm actually going to go back to 1. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I didn't like that change. I made a change, and it just, I don't know, 0 0.001 doesn't seem to make a difference, but it does. And then obviously have your nitrous full just so you're ready for any races. Use up your oil life so you don't get engine damage. And you're good to go. So. At this point now, you're wondering, okay, how do I race this car? Because some, this is the f one of the fastest head-to-head -head cars in the game that you can full rev. Now, what do I mean by full rev? I mean, take the throttle, put it all the way to 100% while you're still in neutral, and wait for the green light. There's also a difference in when you use the nitrous. So I'll show you here in a moment. I'm trying to find somebody with a thing. It's 390 horsepower. I'm not going to be that guy. Go oh, Aries. I've sent him a couple of. So first of all, with full rev, you want to clutch down. You do not want to clutch up. You want to clutch down. Clutch up does not run as well for full rev cars. Next, you want to stage, obviously, right on the bottom white line. That's basically standard across all vehicles in the game. And... Launching a full rev car is a little bit different. So like I said, you rev it all the way up, and then you don't hit nitrous right away or else you're going to get tire spin. You want to wait a moment to hit nitrous, at least with this vehicle. It's a little bit different. So when I hit nitrous is when I start to see the needle go up, or when I see the needle hit like 5,000 RPM when it's dropping. It kind of just re depends on your reaction timing to it and just getting used to racing the vehicle. So, I'm going to rev, and then I'm going to try to get these good times for it. Normally on this car, you could see I hit nitrous way too soon, and that's why I spun this one. I'm going to let it go. I still got a 7.834. Sometimes you can get really lucky with those tire spin launches, and it actually kind of helps you. I say kind of because it's not every time that it's going to. Oh, yeah, that's how about Redneck? You got a Mustang? Redneck got a Mustang. What Redneck doesn't have a Mustang? Let's be real. Isn't this like one of the American cars that every Redneck has at some point in their life is one of these Mustangs? I don't know. But as you can see, yes, I fouled because I suck at reaction time. But I waited just long enough to hit Nitrous, and I got... What's considered to be a pretty good ET for these cars. Very good ETs are like 7.79s if you want to be top of the top racers. 7.817 though, you are probably going to at least tie or win most of your races. Most people in the game run between 7.810 and 7.817 with occasional really good runs of being below 7.810. Let's go. I'll send Redneck another. Gotta support the Redneck. See, Rednecks are easy to make fun of because they don't get insulted. You can see I waited long enough. My shifting pattern has changed a little bit on this vehicle. There we go. Look, 7.817, like I said. Just such an easy time to hit. We'll go against Aries. I'll do quite a few races for you guys so you guys can really see the timing for the nitrous. But like I said, clutch down. And you want to wait until about a tenth of a second after you launch to hit nitrous. 517. I bet you I get a 7.817. Want to bet? You want to bet? You want to bet? Ah, 7833. The other quad. Letterman have a Mustang? Letterman does not have a Mustang. 
MacGyver have a Mustang? MacGyver does have a very patriotic Mustang. MacGyver's got some crazy ET. If you can beat MacGyver, you're doing pretty well for yourself. So that was one of those tire spins where I'm wondering if I'm actually going to be faster. Because there are some weird ones in this game where with full rev cars, it's almost like an ED run. If you get the right kind of tire spin, you're almost faster. I don't understand it. I never will. <laughs> Let's send Unsung. I like Unsung. He's a cool guy. All right. Let's get a good race in. Oh, my God. Why do I have to foul so often? Now, something to say for people trying other people's ratios. Not everybody's car or computer is exactly the same. Everybody's car can be the same if you have the same wheels and stuff like that. But as far as um, computer-wise, you might have to kind of tweak Final Drive if you want to get the exact same race outcome on your computer as somebody else's computer. I can't believe I got a 0.5 on video. I'm not that good at this game. What the heck is going on? Does Ron have one? Oh, Ron does have a must. I'll record until this bottle is empty, and then we'll go from there. That way you guys get plenty of races to see how to run this thing. Oh, that was one of those uh, weird launches where I hit NOS too soon. Let's see how it goes, though. Oh, my PC audio is on. 7.851, again. Who knows? I don't know. We'll make this the last one for the recording and go from there. But yeah, this is a good basis for anybody to start on if you really want to get racing in the Mustang. It's a lot of fun to race. I like this car a lot in the game. God dang it, another spin. And I shifted super late because I wasn't paying attention. 884. That's not how I want to leave off this video. Come on. We're getting at least one more good run, and then let me know what uh, car you want to see full revved next, and I'll make some ratios for it. We'll go one more against the redneck here, or a couple more against the redneck here, until the NOS bottle's empty. Because that's just kind of when I feel like ending this off. There we go. Oh my god, I shifted a couple of those a little bit late. 852. Oh my god. I cannot get away from 7852. If you're having a good day, you're going to 7.81 every single race. This is just a really strange car. And it's very easy to accidentally late shift because of how short some of these gears are. with Ron. All right, let's go. Oops, stuck in first. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Of course, I had to foul, but those shifts were pretty good, I want to think. 7, 8, 3, 4. Come on, give me one... We got one more good race in us. Come on. It also doesn't help that it's, you know, 1230 at night and I want to go to bed. But for some odd reason, I always pick the most awkward time to record a video. So let's go. One more. Hey, it didn't fall, but I got a terrible reaction time. That's okay. And 7834. Well, it's a good starting point for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the races. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what the next car you want to see is, and we will make it happen for a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's just see if I can win one against uh, Scott here, and we'll call it quits. Watch this be my best run of the video. It'll be hilarious. Hey, I beat Scott. That's okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.